Hello and welcome to my online lecture series. I am Purushottam Samarath, lecturer in political science from Balimala College of Science and Technology, Balimala. Today I will discuss about determinants of making of foreign policy. In my presentation, I will discuss about introduction, what is foreign policy, why foreign policy is required and determinants of making of foreign policy from two aspects, internal aspects and external aspects. I hope at the end of this video you will be able to understand about what are the various factors which are influencing the making of foreign policy. Uh, now first introduction. Currently in world political system we have more than 200 nations, nation states which are exist and between two or, two or more nations there are different kinds of interactions and interconnections are exist. Inter interactions in terms of political, economic, trade, military, etc. and interconnection in terms of geographical connectivity, waterways connectivity or airways connectivity. So this type of interaction and interconnection we can't avoid in the international political system. So there is foreign policy is essential for every nation. What is foreign policy? As more than 200 nations exist, um, uh, at the same time different forms of government also exist and different political system different social structure and different kinds of uh, social uh, cultural and historical experiences experiences are uh, nations are uh, availing so to make a relations where one nations require a special dedicated policy so that it can make relation with another nation so mm, this i think this is the only policy which is created which is formulated within the nation but it is applicable to another nation or it is applicable during the relation with another nation so it is called as foreign policy because it is applicable to another nation or another foreign country that's why it is foreign policy now why foreign policy is required because in the international political system each and every nation wants to develop and each and every nation wants security from each other and development of their people, development and safety of their citizens. So if a nation stays in isolation, it means it will never never get help from another nation in the critical situation. So nations need help and nation needs um, security from another nation. So at that in this juncture they need a policy so that they can uh, cooperate with another nation and make a go good relation with another nation that's why foreign policy is required uh, determinants of the foreign policy while making a foreign policy each and every nation wants to reflect their uh, national interest national ideology and objectives national objectives not only of the government but also of the people of the nation so in this uh, in this situation if the if the nations are uh, if the nations foreign policy is uh, influenced by the this um, internal and external factors then it is called as the determinants of the making of foreign policy because these determinants affecting the uh, making of policy directly or indirectly there are various internal and external factors. Internal factors are those factors which are arise within the nation and it affects the making of foreign policy. And external factors are those factors which are not arise within the political or within the nation, but it arise within the political world political system and it affects it affects the all nations of the world. Now I will discuss all the internal factors and external factors one by one. First, territorial size. In the modern nation state, four elements are required for uh, for a nation. One is territory, population, government, and sovereignty. So, if a nation having large amount of the territory, it means it is able to control the large amount of the human resource, natural resource, and min mineral resource. It means a country can able to uh, fulfill its uh, basic 
requirement of the citizens if it is having the large amount of the these resources and it will play important role if it is controlling large amount of the resources in the world political system mm, for example the countries like us russia and china playing crucial role in terms of their territorial size because they are uh, abundant with the these resources uh, on the other hand the smaller countries like asia pacific region some countries and some countries of uh, africa continent they are getting small opportunity due to their small territorial size geographical location or also known as the geostrategic location if a country presents in a such situation or such geographical location and it is able to access waterways landways and able to better connection with the better connectivity with the neighbors which means it is in the geostrategic location for example india's presence in between the interjection of southeast asia central asia west asia and in between the south asian countries itself mm, enhances its geostrategic position in the world political system because to uh, see in britain in many years ago it was it controlled most of the countries of the world political system due to its maritime connections its mer better maritime connections also if you see the land of countries which are mm, mostly uh, surrounded with the other nations its borders are surrounded with the other nations and its borders are not open to any uh, waterways which can called as the land of countries mm, and those type of land of countries are mostly dependent over the another countries also uh, geographically if a country places in isolated place also plays less important role in international political systems such as australia and canada next history and the culture if a country having common history and common cultural experience it will formulate a stronger policy because if a country having divergent cultures and divergent historical experiences it will it will be a very difficult to form a unified or uniform foreign policy for example sri lanka's tamil issue creates a dilemma for indian foreign policy maker or whether they have to establish a relation with sri lanka or not whether they have to support tamil issue or not because it the historical and cultural dilemma is there also india's relation with pakistan and palestine also another issue or another dilemma for the uh, foreign policy makers of india so uh, next is social structure social structure of the nation as each and every nation wants to reflect their social and cultural identity so each and every nation also having the various racial or religious or regional lines so uh, an homogeneous society produces more coherent than the divided one so historical experience social structure and cultural traditions drives the foreign policy next the ideology of the state a proclaimed ideology of the state influences the making of the foreign policy for example us supports the democratic form of government and soviet russia supports the socialist form of government in the uh, cold war period and they wants to establish the relations with their ideological preference nations and to make a world in a such situation which is known as the cold war situation also mm, india also support the mostly democratic form of government due to its ideological preference also form of government as government is the key player of a nation who controls everything so we can deny the role of the government while making the for foreign policy because government's interest and government's objective also reflected in the making of foreign policy if a government is democratic form of government then it will allow dissent and debate and discussions and it will allow to make relation with each and every nation if a government is totalitarian authoritative and uh, and uh, military junta types regime then it will never allow any type of debate and discussion and it will always having a different kind of policy 
and it will have the quick discussion while making a relation with the another nation or it may not be open to another nation because of its form of its uh, forms of government on the other hand the leadership also plays an important role in the international political system because the leaders ideological preference ideological preference may be the crucial role because each and every leaders has different types of analytical power different types of under understanding ability to the world political system their strengths weakness personality and idiosyncratic and dealing with the critical situation so we can see the example of Winston Churchill's leadership which led to victory for England in World War II. Also, Indira Gandhi's act of decision making in 1971 during the Bangladesh creation. Also, Atal Bari Bajpayee's leadership from the moral point of view. Institutional capacity in terms of military preparedness, economic development and technological advancement. First, the military preparedness. preparedness. If a state able to maintain its security or wants to maintain its sovereignty, it needs to protect its sovereignty from the external threat or internal threat. So in this uh, role during the Bangladesh creation and India's attempt to get the equivalent status with the United Nations Security Council's T5 members after the nuclearization, also known as the military preparedness which play important role in the making of foreign policy now the economic development as in the current political system most of the um, advanced economic develop development countries are in the anchoring position because of their economic power because if a country having the economic power it means it will have the greater chance to play the important role because this type of countries can able to give loan to other countries and able to generate more skilled and unskilled labors and they have uh, they have opportunity to create market for the for the products because some of the territorial countries who are having mm, large amount of economical development and economical advancement in terms of technology trade economy those countries are playing important role in, in the international political system those are japan south korea german etc so we can't deny the uh, economic development as one of the major factor in the making of foreign policy because nowadays most of the countries are establishing their relation with another country due to economic and trade aspects and Germany, South Korea and Japan's technological advancement is too far from any nation of the world. So while making our foreign policy, we cannot deny to make relation with the nations. It means our foreign policy is diverting and our foreign policy is focusing to make relation with such type of countries. Next, external factors. External factors are those factors which are not controlled by the any nation and these factors are arise within the world political system and it affects each and every nation so while each and every nation making their foreign policy they have to consider and they have to uh, give importance to the external factor for example the situations of world political system for example when india became independent at that time total world was divided with two blocks one is uh, supported by the USSR and another one is supported by USA. So this situation is much beyond of India's capacity to change. So most of the third world countries are remain neutral in this situation. Then military strength and uh, strength of adversaries. Adversaries. India always been a peaceful country and it opted for the peaceful cooperation. But the always warlike situation with neighboring nations compels India to uh, commensurate its military technologies and military tanks strengths with the enemies and that's why india um, day by day buying new weapons and military equipment from the various nations however formulation of foreign policy is a result of complex internal or external factors both are combined with long-term aspirations as well as ambitions of leaders and li people of the nation as well which give final shape to country's foreign policy here i conclude my lecture 
and thanks for listening to me